Hey there, Donna with Photonic Health. Today I wanted to chat with you about a recent uh, client story that came through. A couple weeks ago, we were contacted by one of our clients who has one of our red light therapy devices and she was concerned because she thought that maybe her horse had contracted Eastern encephalitis, equine eastern encephalitis, EEE. And so I started asking her some questions, you know, is he running a fever? Nope, not running a fever. How long has he not been doing well? Well, for about four or five days. Well, what else is going on? Mm, just seems really depressed and pretty listless, almost like a depression type thing. Not really interested in food, but he's not colicking. You know, he's not really in pain and has didn't really show a lot of lack of coordination, just really, really lethargic. And um, so I was like, okay, well, let's go ahead and, and illuminate the antiviral points and especially the carotid artery um, because when you illuminate the carotid artery with red it really goes and it boosts that whole immune system and it helps um, those cells your cells the mitochondria in the cells to uh, um, increase atp and atp is one of those yummy things that the body needs in order to keep your um, immune system happy and healthy it increases oxygenation levels in the blood and um, it and if you have a virus or if your animal has a virus that is in the bloodstream which eee transfers through via the blood West Nile does as well, um, you're going to want to pay particular attention to the carotid artery. So we gave her the protocol, um, which we offer free to anybody who is dealing with that with one of their animals. And literally within 36 hours, I got a note back saying that it in fact was EEE. She had gotten it confirmed by the veterinarian and also the horse was completely back to normal because she added illuminated the antiviral points so um, if you have a red light therapy device or if you have a horse you're never going to ever hurt anything by illuminating your animal ever it, especially if you're using one of our devices i can only speak for my devices i can't speak for any of the other devices that are out on the market so um, if you have a device get it out, use it. If you have any questions about how to use it effectively on your animals for any condition, this is exactly what we are here for. We are happy to walk you through and help you through to get that end goal of getting your getting your animal to the other line like we did with this lady where, you know, she suspected it was Eastern encephalitis, but she wasn't exactly how, sure how to use her device. And so we just gave her um, the protocol on on what to do and we were there to provide her for support and she was able to go out she was able to administer the therapy herself and in 36 hours she had a fabulous outcome her horse came out on the other side and you know he's still doing fabulous so if you have any questions or if you um, would like our antiviral chart uh, feel free to reach out to us and we are happy to share that with you so whichever side the hyoid was out, in this case, hers seems to be off to the right side. That's where you're going to take and put your pro light on high and put your standard light on low. Now, again, if you don't have two lights, you're just going to put your hand on the opposite side. So I always put the low light on first and then put the standard light or high light on the other side second. Put your hands against the horse and look in the same direction that she 